Oh, hi. Welcome to CareMart, a one-stop shop for all of your prenatal needs. Here you'll find everything you need to know about routine prenatal care. So grab a cart and get ready to shop till you drop. We'll start off with all the things you should do during a patient's very first prenatal visit. Since the most important part of the first OB visit is to confirm and date the pregnancy, the Care Mart has this big calendar smack dab in the middle of it. We went over how to do this in our intro to OB video, so head on over there if you need a refresher. Once you've established that there's a viable pregnancy and it's gestational age, there are a lot of things to discuss during the first prenatal visit. But don't despair. It's not all new stuff, and everything can be found in these aisles. You're still going to want to take a thorough history and physical, just like any other time a patient is establishing care. Here's the key information you should definitely get within each category in the history. First, make sure to take a thorough obstetric history. This means go over the patient's G's and P's with her, symbolized by this bird gravel and parakeet food. Also, ask her how many times she's been pregnant and the outcome of each pregnancy, including mode of delivery, as in whether she's had vaginal deliveries and or C-sections in the past. Ask her if she's had any complications during prior pregnancies, especially if she had preeclampsia, represented by this big clamp, or whether she hemorrhaged during or after delivery, symbolized by this red kibble spilling out all over the floor. All of these things are important because they inform how you will manage the patient during this pregnancy. For example, if she's had multiple C-sections in the past, she may not be eligible for a vaginal delivery. And if she's had a history of preterm birth, preeclampsia, or hemorrhage, she's at a higher risk for each of those this time around. You can never mention OB without GYN, so take a gynecological history next, which is symbolized with this big pink uterus pot. You're especially going to want to know if the patient has had any history of known fibroids, symbolized by these rotund succulents, because a poorly placed fibroid may impede delivery, both vaginal and cesareans. Note any major medical issues the patient has and what medication she's been on, something we hope they've remembered to discuss in this stupid medical drama DVD box set. If she has any significant chronic medical issues, this may warrant a referral to your high-risk pregnancy specialist also known as a maternal fetal medicine doctor. Also note if she's had surgery, which we've represented with the scalpel on this stupid horror film DVD. You'll especially want to note if she's had abdominal surgery, as this may help with surgical planning later if she needs to have a C-section. This family sitcom DVD seems to have a bunch of chromosomes on the side of it? Cool. That'll help us remember that when you're taking a family history, ask about any known genetic disorders. A known family history of a genetic disorder may qualify the patient and her fetus for more comprehensive screening, but we'll go over prenatal screening and diagnosis more in the next video. You may remember Zika virus and its link to microcephaly in the news. It highlights that a recent travel history is also important to know, as the mom-to-be may have been exposed to certain diseases that could affect fetal development. So we've made sure to keep these travel guides well stocked. One of the most important parts of the history is the psychosocial history. Make sure to go over any history of psychiatric illnesses and medications, as well as any history of current substance use. This includes alcohol, tobacco, and illicit substances. Be specific when asking about each one, as cocaine and heroin can have very different effects on pregnancy. Lastly, ask about intimate partner violence. Sadly, intimate partner violence often starts or gets worse during pregnancy, and for the health and safety of the mother and the fetus, it's imperative that you determine if she feels safe in her current living situation.